if you're looking for a new summer beach read, we have one that you're going to love. And it's written by a best-selling Sarasota author, Lisa Daly. Yay. And Lisa, you're an expert in love and relationships. We know you're on TV shows, radio shows, right. talking about this. Uh, mm. So tell us about yourself. How did you get to be a real, an expert in love? I feel like she needs to be my best friend. I, I'm happy to be your best friend. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of interesting. Um, I always had pretty good dating advice. My mom, my grandmothers, all my aunties, they gave me some really wonderful advice. And I, I actually generally had fairly good luck. But I had this friend named Tina who was the worst, worst dater on the planet. She was like the person who would do like the drunk dial. She would practically stalk the guy. She was <laughs> planning the wedding 10 minutes after she met somebody. And so I really wrote my first book, uh, Stop Getting Dumped, sort of for, teen, for all the Tinas in the world. <laughs> and, uh, and the book really took off. And uh, it became a bestseller. And, um, and suddenly I was writing articles about dating. And, and uh, you know, I've been doing the daytime show for about 11, 12 years now. And so over the years, I have uh, just researched so many studies and read a million other books and talked to all these other experts. And so, yeah, so some of it is certainly personal, and it definitely started out that way. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, right. yes. Mm. I just wanted to know if these were your personal experiences that you're putting in there. I, a lot of them are. I mean, I like I said, I... I had generally been, um, you know, fairly successful, although I will say I went through a divorce uh, um, about four and a half years ago, and it was, uh, you know, so here I'm doing a lot of the things that I've been talking about on the air for mm -hmm. a long time, uh, and, and, you know, dating and, and all that, and so I will say that I've met someone lovely, and we're in love. Oh, and so, oh yeah, wow, and so. so it's working. Now, this is your latest, it single-minded. It's just coming out. Tell us about that one. I'm so excited about this book. It's a novel. If you you love Sophie Kinsella or Janet Ivanovich, you know, that sort of funny beach mm -hmm. read that's going to make you laugh out loud even if you're trying to behave yourself, you know, <laughs> on the train or at the airport. <laughs> Um, it's, uh, it's a Sarasota story about a woman who um, finds out uh, that her husband, her, who's her childhood sweetheart, uh, is actually gay. And she's never been on a date. They met in kindergarten. Uh, they, you know, fell in love. They got married. And then, you know, right as she's about to hit 30 and have babies and all that stuff, he's like, sorry, I'm, oh, wow. I'm gay. And this has actually happened to a lot of women. I've gotten tons of letters over the years. Uh, and it, it, it's, I actually uh, know several people that this has happened to. And so um, while there's a lot of heartbreak in that, there are also some really, really funny moments about mm -hmm. kind of starting from scratch at, you know, at, at 30 years old. And a lot of this book is her, you know, sort of search for love and, and you know, wanting to find that relationship where she can get married and have a baby and, uh, and, and how bizarre and insane dating can be and it really is uh, I even know that at my age <laughs> yeah <laughs> well will we recognize any of the characters or any of the places because you wrote it on Siesta Key right I did right I, this is the best part of being a writer is that I actually get to go down to Siesta Key every day with my little iPad and my keyboard and write every day which is fantastic mm -hmm. uh, you will definitely recognize people uh, uh, ah. in, and places uh, I brought ceviche which has been closed for a while one of my favorite restaurants oh, it's yes. back it's it's back, back. Yeah. 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 it lives forever in the book <laughs> Uh, ladies' man, man's man, man about town, Cliff Rolls, a place oh, in Ice Park. Oh, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> um, uh, one of the characters uh, in the book is a pot-smoking 80-year-old uh, former circus performer. Uh, and, and, uh, <laughs> and she's a big fan of uh, drag queen bingo, so Beneva Fruitville. Oh, oh Beneva's so one of our yeah. people. That's so I, funny. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to read this. Thank you. It just makes it so much fun when you recognize yeah. the people in it. But where do you get your ideas? Sitting down on Siesta? Sitting down on Siesta <laughs> is a really good place to get ideas. I, you know, I think with most authors, we always think, in particular with novels, you always think, like, what's the worst thing that can happen? Yes. When I wrote my, uh, my very first novel, uh, 15 Minutes of Shame, it was about the idea of, like, what if you build your whole life or your whole career on... Um, on another person. So the, the book is about this dating expert who finds out on national television that her husband is cheating on her. Oh. And so like if you've built your entire career, like me, being <laughs> a dating expert, and then something goes horribly wrong, you don't just lose your relationship, but you lose your, <laughs> your, uh, career. your career as well. 
and and that idea of um, you know we all we nobody builds their life in sort of a silo so we all depend on and have these other people in our lives and sometimes they do not go along with our plan they you just made me think of something so you're on TV is there certain things you can or cannot say because, you know, you're talking about dating. Right. Uh, uh, any names? Any names? Oh, I definitely don't. You know, I get a lot of letters. I generally will not, um, re you know, unless it's a public story, I generally won't refer to mm -hmm. uh, the people who write into me. And we tend to talk about, you know, sort of general issues. And there are some cool things that, uh, that I've learned over the last 15 years talking about dating. Like, if you're asking someone for a date and you touch them on their lower arm, you have a much better chance that they'll give you their telephone number or oh. agree to a date. Just that. Now, if you touch them up here, there's a less of a chance. So it's, Really? Yeah. Now, pardon, this is like too personal, but this is like a casual connection. Very oh. interesting. Now okay, you have to read the book to learn more. <laughs> she is going to have a launch party on June 24th at Bookstore One. Uh, so you've got to get down there and s meet her and read this book. I can't wait to see what's Thank in it. You. Next, we're going to tell you about yoga styles you didn't even know about. <clears throat>